Welcome everyone to Settle on the Screen. I'm Michael Sroka here with Nick Hauslander, Josh Hauslander, not brothers, cousins, and Mike Janae. <laughs> not brothers, cousins. Well, <laughs> <laughs> because they have the same first name, that means you're related. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. no relation. But uh, what, we're here, <laughs> what we're here to talk to you to, today about is uh, kind of competitive gaming. Obviously, yeah. we're still kind of in a fallout from being the Twin Galaxy show. Um, obviously, we need to migrate more because yeah. we're here to bring you the news about competitive gaming. Um, so, kind of, you've been a lot of people have been competing on the Twin Galaxies boards, and mm -hmm. like, well, now what? Now, now we find out the website's completely down. We don't know. We're sitting. Oh, is it gone forever? Right. We thought the legit legitimacy is gone. Also, our opinion. But what happens if you just want to compete? So, um, obviously, there's. A, a lot of avenues, and I bet some of you have checked them out, but we're just going to kind of bring up a few. Yeah. Some of them I might consider copycats, and some of them have been around for multiple years, mm -hmm. you know, as long as Twin Galaxies. I mean, Twin Galaxies was the first, and that's why, you know, well, wait, that's what attracted most of us oh, to yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them looked like the old Twin Galaxies, too. I mean, a yeah. lot of them looked like late 90s, early 2000s. I'm not knocking them, because actually sometimes I think that interface is actually easier to look at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you know what you're looking for. Oh, yeah. Um, so we're going to kind of go through them. Um, we kind of put a list. This isn't the whole list because we didn't search the whole Internet. Um, I mean, the whole entire You know, day. you can compete <laughs> at your local, you know, uh, there's some, uh, what do you, I can't think of the right video word. But, you know, store? video game stores, like, yeah, not the game, game stops, but, yeah. you know, some people have competitions, yep. you know. Send us that information, no matter how small it is. If it's just, totally. um, you know, Saturday Call of Duty event, you know, we're, we're, we'll announce it real quick. Maybe we talk about it yeah. so we can get this news out there so people right. have another avenue to start competing in. It might not be for world records or an official right. source anymore, but just a reason to compete. You Seriously, know? if you're having, like, a bunch of buddies over, we'll talk about it. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> we really will. I mean, if you guys are even – is well, I don't know if anyone did what we had done in the past, but – We'll get to that. We'll get to that shows. later, but just because you only have like eight or ten people doesn't mean it's not highly organized and incredibly complex. If you yes. have more systems than people competing, we definitely want to know. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, like maybe system. four times the amount right. of people competing. <laughs> and you know what? The other thing, too, is that you know maybe it's a closed event where other people aren't invited. Yeah. Still let us know about it. Yeah. Maybe it's something that... Not many people are going to be able to travel to, right. but know what? It's you know just yeah. because you live in Wisconsin and you're not going to go to Utah for an event, that doesn't mean that you don't want to know that hey, people are playing yeah. this in Utah, people are playing yeah. this in Idaho, people are playing this in Nebraska. We we want to know where you're at, what you're playing, yeah, yeah. and why. You know, not because we're the super secret video game police just because because i i realize now that the way i put that sounded really creepy like <laughs> like we want to know, know where, you are. Where, where you are and what you're playing right now and then we're gonna <laughs> the mission statement of this show is we want to be the nsa of competitive games <laughs> <laughs> no there's i mean there's a ton of gaming groups out there that have events they mm -hmm. tag on they tag on to conventions i know those uh meg dudes in iowa mm -hmm. they were you know they're usually at the conventions there Mm -hmm. and oh, those yeah. are, you know, a oh, good yeah. group those, of dudes. So right, cool guys. And, and more of the avenue we need to kind of get yeah. more into now, because we're kind of, you know, expanding our totally. show topics is you know PC. Yeah, definitely that stuff. PC, I mean, that, game. PC competition now it is always head to head. So it's kind of for what we've talked about is always us yeah. versus the computer. You know, who can be the best against the machine? Right. Um, and I mean, we we have we have to move away from that. Yeah, totally. Not not totally, but just talk about it all. Because yep. it is just important. Um, you guys got a good place to start. I mean, we can start at the big boy. The yeah, go for reason it. you call uh, them out. Major League Gaming. Oh, yeah. Obviously, that's bigger than Twin Galaxies at this point ever oh, yeah. was, and uh, it's the place to play. Yep. For what? Call of Duty, mm -hmm. the sports, the new sports games. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's all head to head. There's yeah. No, you name it. It's all multiplayer based. There's no <laughs> speed runs or anything like that. Yeah. It's all just yeah. 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 Teams um, or one on one or whatever. I mean, what do you guys? I mean, you guys, is this attractive to you guys or? I, I mean, like our tournament. Our tournament was just multiple, so many games. Mm -hmm. This to me, it it is not attractive actually because mm -hmm. it's just so 
it's no, it's six games. Mm -hmm. um, I actually kind of found the site confusing, to tell you the truth. It yeah. is a little busy. It's I really busy. Yeah. And it reminded me a lot of Yahoo Sports uh, oh, site, yeah. totally. oh, which I think Yahoo Sports site is awful. <laughs> and I, I, I think Major League Gaming is yeah. actually easier because Yahoo Sports, I think, is a great... Uh, they have they have some really good writers, writers on there, and yeah. I like the writers, but the site itself is incredibly confusing, and honestly, half the time, none of it works. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I found everything to work on Major League Gaming, mm -hmm. but yeah. it was very... It was really kind of hard to find some stuff. Yeah. And it was kind of hard to find, like, how... Rules and I don't know. I had a really hard yeah, time navigating like, it. I mean, those games I have no skill at. You know, oh, yeah. in me terms either. of me competing, <laughs> so it's not attractive to me. No. And obviously, major league gaming is going for you know the mass, the mass masses yeah. out there. The mm -hmm. where they're going to get the advertising dollars for. You know, there's a big reason why they're successful. They had yeah. a championship in Columbus uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, Dota two I know is one of them. Yep. Um, they're there's specific reasons why they choose those games. Absolutely. Um, but it doesn't give you the whole, the whole general... Yeah, it's not as accessible. It's, it's just not as accessible. And to yeah. me, I actually tried to go through and see how do you go through the ranks. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we have quite a few gamers who have tried and tried to be sponsored to get on a team. I don't even know where you would start. You know, no. I mean, it seems like it's a hearsay. You got to be playing with somebody on Xbox Live and yeah. become yeah. friends with them because you're really good. And he knows somebody in the industry, or he knows somebody on a game that, wow, this guy's pretty good. He might get you on a team. Which, you know, I mean, that's yeah. that's how regular you yeah, know yeah, some yeah, sports are. Yeah. Like, like, uh, like I kind of like to compare major league gaming to right. uh, professional bowling or like NASCAR. Right. You know, yeah. you got to kind of know somebody yeah. to get to that next. Yeah, it's just like, or they're you know, you just hang like, around the know, bowling alley long enough, and you'll yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's true. Or you play lower tier tournaments that aren't <clears throat> associated, and eventually, if you get good enough, yeah, yeah. somebody's going to know us. But the it, idea is cool. It was. Absolutely, I think what what yeah. what they're going for is actually really yeah. awesome. And obviously, Absolutely. they've been the most successful out there. It, yeah. it wasn't yeah. a big turn on to me because it's not all encompassing. Yeah, you know, I mean, and to me, what these are all striving for. And I know everyone's got their own, you know, site that they love or their own site that you might be personally working on. Yeah. And I just, to me, this will eventually, if this all works out, eventually there will be one. You know, whether it's Twin Galaxies, whether it's somebody else doing it all, mm -hmm. it really works better for everybody if there's, like, one big site that's yeah. doing all this. Yeah. And when the ones that, I'm not a big fan of the ones that go right out saying, well, we're not all-encompassing. Yeah, you know, I mean, but it was it was kind of a cool site, yeah. I thought. Oh yeah, money is being made and won. Right, yeah. and it, it depends on where where you think all this is going. Personally, I think all, all, all I think a lot of this is going towards event centric things. Yeah, like you have a big event every year, mm -hmm. once a year, whatever. You maybe have miniature tournaments that lead into that, where you mm -hmm. figure out the qualifiers. But I think that's where a lot of this competitive gaming stuff is going. It's esports. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's all focused on teams. Or even if it's individual in sports, yeah. you know, it's people that kind of rise through the ranks and go through a process of competing in order to get to the next level and then compete there mm -hmm. and so on. So it's less so of, you know, I have, I know I'm awesome at, you know, Arkanoid or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's more it's like... It's less accessible. Yeah. Just to the like, average gamer who might yeah. be incredible. Yeah. But to get to that level, yeah. you have to play multiple, multiple, multiple games and, oh, yeah. you know... Yeah. And this or just is, be really good at one of them. Yeah, yeah, really good at one. Yeah. And this is kind of, too, you know, in their defense, it's more sort of like a league. You know, yeah, totally. the idea yeah. is, you know, you know, I mean, which is cool. Which, you know, very cool. No, definitely. And, and, and earlier I mentioned that it was six games. I, I'm wrong website. Sorry. <laughs> um, you were thinking of the... I was uh, thinking of... WCG? I was thinking of Virgin Gaming. That was oh, the Virgin website. Gaming. Oh, Virgin yeah. Gaming. Well, was, we, can get, we can get into that one. That's, 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 I figured we'd talk yeah, about it. Yeah. I, that, one. I, that was the one I was thinking of, so I apologize, Major League Gaming. That was, no, yeah, yeah, Virgin Gaming site was real bad. Yeah. I was not. Like, that was... Yeah. It just seems like an awful idea. Like, yeah. yeah. That, on my notes, that was my number one thing. Seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Seriously, it just seems like this could lead to really awful things. Put so like, money I don't in, know. You put your money in, we play each other, and we lose money. Yeah, yeah. like, I don't know. It just, it's like playing poker at a casino. Yeah, and, basically. Um, I, it, remind, it reminded me exactly of Netflix's site, if you're not a member. Oh, yeah. If you're not a member, it's useless. it is a useless website. <laughs> like, I kept trying to get into everything, and everything just led to sign up. And yeah. I was like, I don't want to sign yeah. up because I don't want to lose money. But yeah. 
Like, quit um, quit yeah. redirecting me to porn sites. <laughs> exactly. No, I don't want a one month trial for one ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's really just sports. I right. Think that's it. It was. It was pretty much all EA Sports, wasn't it? A lot of it was. Looks yeah. like uh, from what I can see. Yeah. No, that's it. That's what I mean. I think I saw six games or whatever yeah. on the front page. So. Yeah. But, well, but uh, the what is it? WCG World Game World, World Worldwide Gaming League. Yes, the World Cyber That's Games. The one with World six Cyber Games. games. World that Cyber Games. Six games. And that one is C. exactly six. Games. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't remember the C because cyber <laughs> is like a term from 1996, and we shouldn't be using it anymore. <laughs> World Cyber Games, I thought when I went to that site, I thought, man, this is the one Billy Mitchell would like. <laughs> because it was just like littered with American flags. Like I wanted to go join the Coast yes. I wanted to go join the Coast Guard after I after I went to that site. I was it no. was like like I I instantly I went to that site and instantly the only thing going through my head was just USA USA <laughs> That's it. To their credit, though, they had a really good section that said, you know, here's how you compete in this yeah. league. Mm -hmm. Here are the games that yeah. we offer. You can enter any one of these tournaments. Very, cl very clear. If, and they're even like, well, if you don't think you're going to make it on this one, enter multiple tournaments. Yeah. yeah. You know, and kind of telling them, hey, if you think you're a good gamer in general, that one's ex that one I saw very more accessible. Yeah, it yeah that, that super was accessible. That seemed like um in. I kind of felt like Major League Gaming take an idea to it because it, it was just yeah. pretty clear cut explaining how you got into it. Mm -hmm. Right. And it was kinda it was kinda nice. Like I don't have any interest yeah. in any of those games. Other the FIFA FIFA games are always great, yeah. but I suck at them, but um, no, I agree with you totally that um, it was yeah. clear cut. They explained. They right. said when the deadlines were, when the finals were, and it was yeah. you know, pretty cool. And they're they're just entering their off season because I think the finals were in October. Right. So, yeah. um, but no, pretty much everything's in its off season now, which is ironic because it's winter. I know. You would think that all of the video game indoor yeah. kids stuff. Well, would yeah, like it really gets now. going in summer. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, you would th you would think travel for the summer and stuff yeah. like that, but I think it's the holidays. No, yeah, no, sure. Well, it's the fans. The the fans aren't gonna. Go out That's true. to the event to watch. That's true. To buy the pops, to buy the merchandise. Well, That's true. You're not going to go to the Escapist Con in New York in January. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, and honestly, <laughs> I mean, not that uh, it is always this way, but the big games come out around the holidays. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, yeah. so yeah. many huge titles come out in October mm -hmm. and November. So, I mean, I would yeah. imagine... It does buy them time if there's something new to Yeah, you scoop up them. that and it gives you kind of, you know, January yeah. through the maybe championship April. is the following year. Yeah. Before no, it's, it's, the next it's, race. But, it was, yeah, I like that side. That was all right. Um, where do we go from there? Um, well, those are kind of like the league yep. big names where they actually, you know, where it looks like there's a lot of money. I guess we could, we could jump down to... Um, I guess we go to Guinness because this is kind of going back to Twin Galaxies because yeah. a lot of people ask questions, yeah. um, which I can actually you know give them some transparency. Um, you know, Guinness did pay Twin Galaxies for the information of our scoreboard because um, this we this Twin Galaxies scoreboard um, ba based on the processes that we did those were the records because Walter set yeah. the rules and that's what we'll kind of get into a little yep. bit more and kind of why the original Twin Galaxies is still kind of needed is mm -hmm. Guinness didn't know what they were doing then yeah, back, no. back when they called Walter and was it King of Kong or Chasing Ghosts you know when yeah. they, when our when our squares started going into the books regularly um like set 2008, 2007. No, it was earlier than, was that. Earlier than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's even previous to that. I remember, what's his name? Mr. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Com that's complaining, right. Either oh, complaining that's or, right. or promoting his 86 score or something like that. I mean, they were contacting Walter yeah. previous, but there was a contract involved that our information, you know, we make sure we verify these scores and we give the information to Guinness so they can print it in their books and yep. use it as Guinness World Records. Um, well, there's a kind of a... Um, obviously, you can still submit a score or anything to Guinness. Um, you know, if you're the tallest person in the world, you know, et cetera. There's multiple yeah. angles. But now, since because of the Gamer Edition book, there's a huge influx of people wanting to send world record video games. And that's yep. why they came to Twin Galaxies. Because Guinness said, basically, you want to set a world record on a video game? Go over to Twin Galaxies. They'll verify it, and then right. they'll tell us about it because we ain't dealing with it. Yeah, That's feeling, how, that was the agreement. Yeah, I yeah. have a feeling they're kind of like, we just opened up a can of worms here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, let's that, have a... Well, just think they put a book together yeah. for that yeah. purpose, probably because of Walter's book mm -hmm. previous. Oh, the, sure. he, the Twin Galaxies Big Bible of Scores. I mean, <laughs> Guinness is like, we can do that and be worldwide. Yeah. And, I mean, yep. it, it worked out. It was, it was a beautiful, too, it was a beautiful I mean. marriage. 
marriage, I thought. I thought it, it was. worked yeah. out great. You know, um, Mike, it, with that, too, it was, you know, with Guinness, like, you you know, you go to the Guinness site, and it's like, oh, world records. What's the first thing you think of when you think world records? Oh, Guinness, recognize. You know, I mean, right, it's yeah. awesome. But at the same time, like you said, th- there's a reason why they had, whether it's Twin Galaxies, I'd love for it to be Twin Galaxies because I'm biased. Mm-hmm. But whether it's Twin Galaxies or somebody else, somebody's got to kind of run this for Guinness because that's not their thing. Guinness does well. What they're doing, this yeah. is kind of why we're bringing it up, is they're having. Uh, they don't do this just with video games. They do this with other things. But there's a big section on video games. It's called Challengers. Yeah. GuinnessWorldRecords.com, and there's other sections for you know, I don't know, eating many cookies or how many copies of NHL '94 you have. How you know, there's you stack and, you, and you submit a video, <laughs> and, that, and that's their verification. Um, but they have a Ten. section Answers to video Ten. games, and they set the rules, mm-hmm. and people upload them, and the leaderboard, you know, everyone can view the scores, yeah. and, and it works great, actually. I set a, I don't know if it's considered a world record by them, but I'm the highest score in one of their challenges. Oh. Now, it seems pretty cool. awesome, but it's very bare. Yes. I don't know if you guys went through the site? it. site? No, it's... No, no, no the, the challenger portion. It's, That's it's better yeah. for video games. Yeah. Compared Absolutely. to Twin Galaxies or all these right. other boards that are coming up, there's not too much to compete on. It's mostly new games. Yeah. But the way they have it set up is pretty awesome. You know, no, it's I, easy, I think it's, man. It's easy. I just wish they'd have a bigger catalog. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a, it's a pretty sparse site, but I, I say that like as a positive thing. Like, oh, yeah. It really, there is no clutter. <laughs> like right. You go there to do that. Yep. And it's kind of nice, you know. Yep. Most sites anymore aren't like that. So I can't go there right now and set the record for JJ and Jeff nope. on Turbo Graphics. Uh, nope. No, no, nope. no, no, no. That's not. <laughs> that's not one of the ones. Nope. They, that's a fun game. That is fun yeah, game. and most of them, <laughs> most of them are popular titles. You know, for example, like the Wii Hoop, uh, yeah, Hula Hoop. Yeah. I mean, we were very you know, three or four years ago. We had a big competition between Galaxies for that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the kind of the popular ones are on there. Um, mostly newer games, obviously yeah. nothing older, but uh, very cool for some competition if you're looking for it. Like I said, that's what we're kind of here. Yeah. So I got to play you, more. Getting you ranked. I got to play more popular things like Parasol Stars or Section Z or something like that. Yes, yeah. exactly. Windjammers. Yeah. Windjammers. Windjammers. Stuff that's like that. Good, that's a good game. <laughs> that's a cool game. Yeah, it is. Uh, speaking of uh, uh, websites that, other websites that you can record records on. <laughs> Recordsetter.com. Oh yeah, yeah good. good, uh, good. That one was I was confused. That one's not like Guinness. It's cluttered, um, and I had a hard time finding yeah. video game stuff on I there. I wrote be- zero notes. Yeah, on that like one because I wrote a ton of notes on that one actually, <laughs> um, because I believe I should. It's basically a site dedicated to setting the world's most useless records. <laughs> I mean, that yeah. is well, what it is, which is kind of fun to watch, but like video game wise, I was kind of looking. I'm like, I don't know if this is well, like with record best, setter so. is you set the rules, yes, which yeah. is then awesome. you complete it and you're the record holder. It's yeah. like horse on the internet. It is, exactly. and then there's a point system. <laughs> I mean, someone they, like, else can come. You. Someone else can come by and beat you. <laughs> totally. Yeah, but they can just go and create a new variation. <laughs> Yes. If they wanted to. I did it one handed. I did it one handed. I did it with my right hand. I mean, there's nobody setting any (laughs) credible rules. I can't think of the right word, but. No, that's exactly the. Like I said, you know. I shot myself in the big toe with a 22. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah, and and it's not just. No one's ever going to do that. Yeah, the two videos that were at the top that I watched was one that said. Well, you uh, watched the videos? I didn't get that. I did. (laughs) And I will say that in the video, and the videos play great. Yeah, yeah they do. They play no, great. Good. But uh, the one video I cl- it was at the top, and it said, uh, "Girl licks seven apples." And in my head, I'm like, "Oh, I wonder if she like is like upside down, or she did something." It's like, no, it literally Does- she just goes two, three. Is she watched- telling them too? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> literally seven. It was like, did she just like go to the market and she got seven apples and she she lick them? And that was it. And then it ended. And I was like. Oh wow, this is a website right, right. here. You know, it, it, that's the thing I thought with Record Center too is that it's kind of funny. It's kind of cute for for other things, for for random things. Yeah, not for, for video, video games, games. All I thought instantly with the video game part of it was, this is an argument waiting to happen. Oh, that's, yeah. it. Oh, that's all it is. That, that, that's yeah. it. 
I mean, because I even look you know, I mean, to do it with the apples is one thing. <laughs> oh my but, god! But to to take this into video okay. games is is beyond just being silly, and it's nothing that anyone could possibly take yeah, no. even remotely seriously. I mean, even with the apples, are you? Am I supposed to break that record by licking eight apples or by licking seven apples fast? Faster, yeah. or bigger, or bigger slower. apples? Yeah. yeah. Slower, I think slower. I'm assuming by watching the video that slower it's was what she was going for. Tongue contact with Apple <laughs> time. Yeah. I mean, or I thought maybe she was going to lick seven at once. Like she'd like mash them together or something. I don't oh, know what yeah, I was thinking. But then cool. It was not. I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm gonna, sure, I'm going to do I'm going to go on there and lick seven PCs. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, some, some Twin Galaxies gamers started using it as an alternative to Twin Galaxies yeah. when they started really? charging and bef when the website went down. So what a lot of people did is they actually took the exact same rules that the Twin Galaxies world record had, set yeah. them up the same on Record Setter, which is, it's a good verification. Yeah. You know, I know there's somebody who was mm -hmm. going for a Defender world record a few weekends ago, he mm -hmm. put it up there for the world to see. He didn't get the he didn't beat the Twin Galaxy score, but then the Twin Galaxy score is considered. Who knows if it's true or not? Because right. it's from eighty one and it's right. a ridiculous score. But they're using that as an avenue for verification. That's where we kind of talk in another episode. You know, public verification. Yeah. They got that all set up, but yeah, it's there's just, a lot of people on the site. It's just yep. record setters trying to compete with Guinness as. Absolutely. Uh, social, I can do this better than you type of thing. Yeah. Which is cool, but in terms of competitive video gaming, I don't want to say there's no credibility because there's no official record setter. There's oh. no Walter Day setting the rules to say, this yeah. is why you're a better video game player than this one at this certain game because yeah. of this. It's a good time suck. Yeah. It, I mean, is, that, yeah. it can be very entertaining, but I don't think it's ever I think it's a record, anything. right? Time suck? It is, yeah. yeah. Most time sucked. And, and record setter compared to Guinness, it's kind of like the monkeys compared to the Beatles. Exactly. Yes. Like, 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 oh, they're, it's it, oh, I get it. Like they're copying off Guinness, but they're just kind of funny. And like, <laughs> uh, like, oh, I get it. But then, uh, then every once in a while, there's one like, you know what? I got to admit, that's kind of a good record. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, like you do with the monkeys. That's a good you know, song. Like, Come on, I'm remember, a believer. That's a good. That, that's song. a good song. I don't yeah. care. That'd have been good if Paul McCartney sang. Hey, that's a good. That's yeah. good stuff. It's like the dude who dresses up like Ring. Go, but sings last yeah. train to right. Clarksdale. I mean, yeah, that's a yeah. great video on record right. Setter. right. Can we set a record on Record Setter of most Record Setter videos watched? <laughs> we, we totally can. Because all we had to do was say can most Record make Setter. The snake eat its own tail. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. Will that shut the site down? I think so. Okay. Infinitely. I think time will collapse. Yeah. Because the next person will automatically beat it by one. So I'll just watch all their videos and then I'll oh, yes. watch. It's great. And then that sure. guy. And I will say this: I scroll down to see when it would end. I got to 1700. It still kept going. It's like, oh, I thought I was gonna get. Let's to do this. Point. This is a yeah. weekend. This is yeah. a solid weekend. We yeah, it we're is. gonna set the record. Each video the was watch. relatively we need short. A lot of memory cards. Yes. I saw a dude in run around his car seven times. <laughs> oh wow! You know what? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Mike, when you first said that, though, I mean, I think this is a little easier said than done. Because when you first said that, I instantly started thinking of the videos I watched when I was trying to do a little research and you know go yeah. you know, record setter. And I'm thinking like the most anyone's watched. I was thinking it was like three. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, okay, like, I like, that's what I watched. Nick, Nick has the record. <laughs> We'll Did I mention I love RecordSetter.com? <laughs> we will put a loaded 38 caliber revolver on the table next to you. The most videos you watch before shooting yourself oh! is the record. Man. Wow. Wow. That would be... And I wonder how many points we would get for that. No record rebreak. Oh, you mean that. the little The right. points, you vote and you get points. I think the top... Video had like 130 points. That's sweet. Yeah. Hey, um, what, what can you spend know. those points on? Where, where do we move from Nothing. here? They're Bitcoin. Retroids, I think, is interesting to talk about. Okay, let's go to Retroids. We were uh, evolving sites. We were yeah. on there. Our podcast was on there. Maybe mm -hmm. it'll be maybe settle the screen. will make it. It's yeah. part of the the Retroids podcast network. Yes, yeah, uh, they get we get a lot of buds on Retroids. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they were pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And and it was I, a that's very, a cool site. I yeah, think it. It's yes. a good. It's kind it's, of a. I don't want to say social, but it's, it's well, a video game. Well, right now because yeah. they've got a placeholder site up, which is yeah. awesome. It no, has a ton yeah. of functionality. Mm -hmm. And it's got a chat box in the top where it's just live real-time chat that you can mm -hmm. jump in and, you know, spam horrible hate speech at each other or I whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I was actually going to say that because it's the temp site right now, but it was better than, like, half the other sites I yeah. looked at. Even no, the temp was. site. You're not wrong. So it was, yep. it was pretty entertaining, uh, really. In, yeah. in, 
we can, really can't say really. too much as as a scoreboard. They had their, they tried something obviously because of the fallout of Twin Galaxies. Right. Somebody else is stepping up to replace mm-hmm. what was there by Twin Galaxies. Um, I mean, they got the good ver- kind of good yeah. verification, mm-hmm. web only, uh, yeah. live stream or YouTube, which, which is good. Obviously, camera only, which I liked. Um, but you know, nothing, so nothing camera only. Like yeah. no, everything is default settings. Sketch, you know. <laughs> Yes! Oh! <laughs> the the sketch from someone playing a video game. It's like, oh, Matthew Land, no. like in real sketch. <laughs> no direct, no oh, okay. direct feed. I'm sorry. Okay, it's the most streaming. We know what you're talking they about. They might not know. Yeah, that's true. But, I would. I mean, <laughs> if from one other person thought of Corbin Scott. Yeah. <laughs> from what I've heard, it, it could be awesome. Yeah. Now, the only thing I think that would need to be Im- implemented is like a not Walter Day, but somebody setting rules on specific. Yeah, I games, mean, we need saying no glitches yeah. or or glitches are allowed. Do whatever you want, but somebody needs to dictate what's going to happen. You needs know? a referee. Yeah, needs some type of or referee. Walter it can Walter be Walter. it can be publicly yeah. verified, but somebody cool. needs to set some type of rules. Yep. And they they kind of have a thing right now. Submit anything. We obviously need scores, default settings, but you know, I already find loopholes in that. Yeah. yeah. Based on me, just because I know what I would do. <laughs> you know. Because um, oh, you're just well, so I, much smarter. Well, I'll just, no, that's so much. I'm just like, it's like Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, what do you want me to do? You want me to max out the score, keep killing myself? <laughs> you know. Because what happens if I just put a score up legitimately with, and I just right. beat the game, and then somebody comes along and just dies, gets a free life, keeps getting more points, you know. Yeah. That that kind of stuff. Hopefully it'll be addressed. No, true. Um, yep. So then we'll kind of move to somebody who's helping them create a database or something. You know, like I said, we don't know all the details, but is it Arcade or Arcade? Our Arcade. Our Arcade. Our Arcade. Um, they've been around, yeah. uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, 2007, 2008, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of when oh, wow, uh, I that, it when that gentleman <laughs> behind you, I think, at Twin yeah. Galaxies, and there was a fight when we first started yes. about them taking Twin Galaxy yep. scores. Like a fist fight? But most of them, yeah. no, 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 yeah. not a fist fight. Fist of, it was in the middle of a mall. A, a cyber fist. A, a stupid, a there was a legal, oh, that's awesome. crappy yeah. fight. The guys from our arcade, <laughs> those are really cool guys. I know a lot oh, yeah. of them, you know, yeah. personally. The, the, that's cool. It's a cool site. Again, you know, I mean, I, I think that the the culture is benefited by one of these becoming, you know, what Twin Galaxies was or, or truly taking over and having an all-encompassing site, whether it's Retroids, whether it's, you know, whether it's Our Arcade, whatever one it is, be cool. I just, I would like to see, it'd be, it would be nice if there was an all-encompassing one that, you know, you can yeah, send yeah. in your console game, send in your arcade, send yeah. in and everything and uh you know i mean you want there to be clarity you want there to to, for it to be right but at the same time you know i I don't want to i don't think it should shut out people that want to play live i don't think it should shut out people that want to play on the internet and i don't want and it shouldn't shut out people that want to play it on a vhs tape in their basement you know i mean that i mean i kind of want to use uh you know obviously if you're going for a world record or a record whatever you want to call it um you know, obviously, you're not just, you're actually going to work towards it. And, yeah. and people say, well, then go to Fun Spot and do it there. And I understand, yeah, you would might want you might want to take that extra step to do it. But what happens if, like, there isn't something right. public? Like, because we're talking about this is arcade only. Right. For example, Andrew Laidlaw destroyed a looper machine. Laidlaw. How many looper machines Laidlaw. are there? You know, how, let's say you live in Alaska and you can't find an yeah. our arcade referee to come up to Alaska to right. to watch you play looper on your barely working looper machine right. and you might not know of anyone else out that's where kind of you know the arcade mm-hmm. part comes into it where it's like uh, live verification only uh, I, yeah I just you know, don't know or live scores only I guess that's what right. the website it's is it's almost something that and it doesn't let you compete on everything no exactly and I just like the idea of it is really cool but I almost just feel like it has an expiration date to yeah. it. Like, it really, unfortunately. Oh, sure. Like, and I mean, I, I think everyone knows that, but it's just, like, one of those things, I don't know how much long it can, how long it can actually last, right. you know. Yeah. But, no, it's cool. Well, you know, I mean, how many, how many arcades <clears throat> are there now comparatively to how many there were in 1983? Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's minimal. It's minimal. Do they exist? Yeah, they exist. Yeah. There's some awesome arcades out there. 
you know, yeah. uh, there's a few. They're, they're, they're out there. How, will there be any arcades in existence 100 years from now? Maybe. There might be some dude. You know, maybe Funhouse yeah. will still be kicking 100 years from now, and they'll still be, you know, they'll be repairing those games. But how many will really, how many will be here in 20 yeah, years? Right. How many will be here in 50 years? How many will be here? I mean, you, you got to kind of forge ahead and, no. and yeah. stay with the times a little bit. Oh. Definitely. But it's true. I will say that about their side. They're, they have a great location database mm -hmm. for... Oh yeah, the United States. You want to I mean, find awesome. Yeah, you want to play an actual arcade You'll game of a specific game. They have it. they have the greatest yep. database it's ever. Awesome. Yeah, it's you can submit to it, senders, and I think yep. that is the best part about that website. Like, yeah, when it's I'm, without a doubt the best part. Of the website. I do a lot of traveling from work uh, on the west side of our state, and there's a lot of great arcades and amusement yeah, parks mm -hmm. where there's just some games, and it's like, oh, I want to play that game. I've never played that game. So we told it's great. And actually, play it's. Awesome yep. for that aspect, and obviously helps arcade owners who are trying to keep the yeah. dream alive. Yeah. A place where they can be located, you know. Like obviously, there's some huge places like um, there's obviously Fun Spot, but Galloping Ghosts Arcade. Yeah, right. I mean, that's I mean they're they're our arcade um, you right. know, certified location. There's always somebody on staff to help out. Right. Um, but if go if you're looking for you want to play an arcade game near you. Check that website yeah. out for sure. Yeah. It's got awesome. map directions and oh, like yeah. a description yeah. of how much games. And cost then you can and yeah, you cool. can find yeah. out, you know, what settings they have. You know, even the eighty one machines. Yeah. It's awesome. And if we're plugging arcades around the world here randomly, Star Worlds, Glenn and Patrick, I got your back. I mean, the place was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what was that Not place wrong. in Grand Rapids? I'm we were trying to think. Stellas, Stellas, Stellas. in Grand Rapids, that Michigan. That place was so awesome. awesome. Man, that place is great. Barcade, actually. Barcade is We barcade. should check out the David Buster's down the street when they finally open the sea will. I just noticed yeah. that they were putting in one yeah. like a week ago. Um, it's probably going to have crap, but... Who cares? It's new, so it's, maybe not. And, and it's hey, the closest we, thing around here, honestly. Yeah. I mean, hey, big we, points. We, we guess, can do a show from it, because yeah. we're, you know, podcast stars. Yeah. Yeah. Podcast stars. Yeah. Um, let's move back, more, I guess, a little bit further back in time. Cyberscore.me.uk. Oh yes! Oh um, yes! I like this one because, I mean, there's there's no there is a verification there's no official verification, but it's a way to compete, and it, it's kind of to our grand idea, where yeah. you compete you don't just compete on one game yeah you comp you compete on multiple games like in a uh, decathlon triathlon right. and you add your scores together to give you a medal count, yeah. a ranking you know, like, you know official like rank. Score. Yeah, it's yeah. like a gamer score, and I like I love that yeah. aspect about it. But yeah. some of the ways they track things, I mean, that's just my opinion. But no, I thought it but was. But it is massive. Oh, uh, yeah. and, that, and that is the I think that is the closest to a Twin Galaxies in terms of oh, yeah. how much stuff do they track. Oh, totally. It's for diehards, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. It is for diehard gamers. Mm -hmm. I did think it was confusing. I yeah. did have some trouble yeah. looking at mm -hmm. it because um, it is, and it's like an, it's a pretty old looking interface. But um, it was, you know. Pretty cool if mm -hmm. if you're just, if you got time, it's a cool website to look at. But yep. it's not like a website that stuff's gonna pop out at you. Yeah. You, yeah. you really do have to go searching. It and to if find you stuff. want, because it's just basic. It's kind of just a forum. Really. Yeah, and if you want to use it <clears throat> as um, a benchmark, because now with the Twin Galaxies website gone, you're like, well, go? <laughs> what, how good am I compared to the highest score ever recorded? Yeah. Well, this. Everybody competes. Yep. Everybody puts a score in, and you can go, oh, I'm third. This guy got first on this setting. You know, <laughs> it's it's really neat for that. I mean, sign up. It's free. I mean, you want to talk about world record verification and stuff like that, but it's just a good place to compete, you know. And, and, it's, um, and it's very British. I mean, it's got yeah, pictures saying, of the Beatles yeah. and Pierce Brosnan right away when you Pierce go on it. Brosnan. I mean, it's, it's very – I mean, if you want to find out if you are bloody awesome at a game or just a tosser – that is the place to find out. Got to save the queen. <laughs> um, kind of will something similar to CyberScore, where there's barely any verification, but multiple tracks. Just real. Uh -huh. I'll just there's Score Hero for you uh, music gaming yeah. uh, psychos yep. like me. Um, go there. You pr post your score. You can put a YouTube up. Music gaming's dead. There's that one. Um, <laughs> yeah. Kind of where we if you like at, just that, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, or if you just want to record you burning a bunch of plastic instruments mm -hmm. and so submit that to record centers as most plastic Ooh, instruments. Oh, I can do that. Dude, yes. Oh, I got about 
four drum sets, six guitars, <clears throat> and like five microphones. And a fire pit, so let's make this And a happen. fire pit. Yeah, let's make a video. It. Most there was, uh, pollution. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> this smells like cancer. <laughs> there's um, the one, this this didn't interest me too much, but there's the Speed Demons archive yeah. Well, oh, yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. no, Which geez. is, that is a, that site was pretty confusing. That looked like a site from like 1995. Yeah, yeah. That was like was, an angel fire and site. And it was, it was very selective. It's just, yeah. it's just speed runs. If you're into that, then, you know, well, check it out. But the video's not, loaded great though, I will say. It's not even like YouTube. It's an old school, late yeah. 90s video, but it, it, actually everything worked great. Everything yeah. works great, and what's good about that or what's awesome, it is just speed runs. There is rules. This is the only thing I don't like about it, but everything is public verification, yeah. and you can submit it at any time, and it's it, it's done clean. And so if you want to know, for example, my opinion, who's the f Sonic should be measured by who can complete the game the fastest, not who can get the most points like me. I think whoever can complete, complete Sonic fastest yeah. is better at Sonic. Agreed. They have that for games like that, and it works perfect for yeah. that. It is yeah. awesome. The only thing I don't like when it comes to gaming, but this is where Josh's argument mm -hmm. comes in, they allow glitches. So if you do a glitch to get, you know, like Sonic I'm is a, a perfect example, that. you can hit a glitch and you get thrown to the end of the level, you yep. complete the level in 12 seconds. Well, that's not how the mm -hmm. designers uh, the de designers of the game made yeah. it, but right. it's so, in the game, you found it, yeah. you hacked it, so that's so, my only complaint, but that's just You're me. on Speed Demons, playing Bubble Bobble, snatch up those umbrellas, <laughs> and uh, if you're playing Mario Kart, try to jump over that thing on Rainbow Road, which is almost impossible, but it can <laughs> be done. It yes. can be done, yes. It's <laughs> um, and then... Uh, Two more sites just want to touch on just because we know of them. Uh, well, there's Wii Records, basically. It's kind of like... It's what it says it is. It is yeah. just Wii Records. It is what it says um, it is. Some of the people who compete on Twin Galaxies also submit on there, yep. so it gives you a good benchmark. Uh, two more. I, I, I kind of want to say they're copycats, or basically they've... They are. They, they, they've become because of the Twin Galaxies yeah. fallout yeah. and uh, the verification and paying, paying to play, the website being down. Yeah. Um, two of them are... Um, one of them is high score. Um, Nick, you had some comments on that one. Well, high score. I, I like. I like it. Um, it's cool. What I liked about it is the one, two, three, four it tells you exactly how to submit it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think a cool idea. It has a lot of social media aspects, which is not attractive to me really. And um, the main problem is the whole aspect of votes. Oh, yeah, okay. Totally. Yeah. It's, you don't want yeah. video games to be turned into a popularity contest. That is the exact... Uh, that doesn't even make sense. Because let me tell you what. Chen has a posse. <laughs> Any score he submits will be voted to the top immediately. I don't that's care right. if it's a high score. No, and that's true. Like that, that doesn't <laughs> I will even, vote a hundred times. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense for setting a record. I mean, unless it's record setter, I got this many votes, so I win that. Yeah. Right. Oh, there's a record setter right. record. You know, <laughs> the most votes <laughs> on my record setter uh, video. Yes. Yeah, you know what that it comes down to do with that. I mean, and I don't want to act like I don't want to act like we're just awesome on this show or something. But I imagine if we if, if we go out and say, "Oh, this is a cool record. Check this out." Yeah, that, that's gonna bump up people's votes. Yeah, you know, true. I mean, yep. just from totally us true. saying that. I'm marketing. Both, these, both of those ones, record, video game record. scoreboard and high score. I, I thought they were kind of cool. Both of them, I thought were kind of like been there, done that. Oh, know, they are. Well, they you are know, been that I mean, done that of Twin Galaxies. Right. Yeah, and yeah. you know, one of these. I understand that we're gonna blossom up some of these. Some of them are gonna bloom up a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we gotta start chopping some down too. Eventually, if if one of them's gonna succeed, then the rest of them are. That's like basically. the weeding out process. Right. Yeah, I think I that'll mean, work itself. I out. think that it does because people will basically the site that works the best will be the site that mm -hmm. yep. or the clarity and yeah, the, or the, the site that's popular. The least um, amount of a dick to the, everybody. The, the, the <laughs> other the other copycat one was uh, video game scoreboard. Yeah. Um, Kind of the same thing. Just submit. Obviously, yep. I think it's some former Twin Galaxies people running it. Yep. Um, submitting as you go. What's nice about them is they do accept everything. VHS, three-quarter cool. inch, laser disc. Yep. It's a pleasant looking thing. <laughs> and that's nice. Beta Max. Um, you know, but it's still Sanskrit. kind of been that done that Twin Galaxies no, database should be yeah, the totally. true database. And that actually brings me to another one. Um, I knew Serious about it. Castlevania fetish, by the way, on that site. I don't know what's going on. With oh, uh, <laughs> um, Simon Belmont's kind of I rad. think you can submit to <laughs> this scoreboard now. Uh -huh. um, uh, why can't I think of it? Champ Pow. Yes, Champ yeah, Pow. Champ Pow is was 
originally people. when the Twin Galaxies website went down is a database of all public scores. Yeah, they it wasn't just Twin Galaxy yeah. scores. It was everything combined yep. into one. And I think now they're going to start trying to accept scores, replace Twin Galaxies, which in that case, you know, that I, I'm not going to say that's the best route, but at least the history is still there. Yeah, you right. want to know if you're the best on... Yeah. Why can't there? we think of a? I just can't think of a you game off the time. Game, I, really? I can't think of any game off the top of my head. Like there's not. Well, not, there's mass, not like not one game. Blaster. Streets of Rage that. two. There's not like I don't want to keep favoring NHL ninety four. One right? game that you can't. <laughs> the one true game. <laughs> the, the only, only video, video game. The all game. Um, NHL ninety four. You, know, you want to compare yourself to all scores? <laughs> is Champ Pow? I like to call Champ Pow now. The, I think it's Kayak. Of video game yeah, scoreboards, yeah, 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 you know, because yeah. you got you got Orbits, you got Expedia, yeah. you got all these yeah, travel it's an, websites, it's an aggregator. and then you got yeah. Kayak, who searches all those websites for you yeah. to find you the best deal on your video mm-hmm. game right. score. Well, you know, and I think <laughs> the best deal, not ten dollars an hour, <laughs> or fifteen dollars a submission. Yeah. You know, and we've kind of been saying that oh, one of these will potentially, win. if it's all going to succeed, one of them is going to win. The one that wins, I don't think, or actually, I don't hope that that one only takes those scores and all these other scores that are compiled by these are destroyed it'd be nice to kind of format all these together and yes. really take those ones you know mm-hmm. if the score on our arcade is better than the old twin galaxy score and we can verify that's good then that's yeah. the that score. should be that's the, score, the world yeah. record yep. then i mean yeah. th- that's what's important the world record is supposed to be the highest score mm-hmm. exactly you know, after all you know and not mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, and Not there can be and and nuances about garbage. which, you know, if they played it slightly different on arcade or, yeah. you know, the school video game score the rules are a little galaxies, different. Yeah. You know, I mean, they, some of that could potentially. I hate to even say this, but because it might open a can of worms for people, but could be overlooked. You know, I mean, say, mm-hmm. okay, this is the yeah. score we're yeah. going with now. You know, but. Yeah, and then you yeah. leave some people out. Oh, my record's gone now because you decided well, four ships compared to two ships, you know, right. stuff like that. I, I, that's what you're saying. The camera one eye instead of two. But it's interesting. But we're just letting you know about it. I mean, if there's more sites, please let us know about mm-hmm. it so we can be aware yeah. of them. And maybe we can all work together and make that huge totally. scoreboard. Doesn't have to be a website. Mm-hmm. It can be in yeah. Walter's basement with all his newspapers written on his walls. Soon. Oh, that would be awesome. Walter had all his scores written on his walls. <laughs> like a great. beautiful mind. Yes, so we're just, you know, exactly like I said, like we're that. just trying to find you an avenue <laughs> to keep competing, yep. regardless if Twin Galaxies come back or whatever. Just a different avenue so you can keep playing and keep gaming and yeah. keep bringing life into some older games. Because that's totally. what that's what Twin Galaxies did for me. Is I played some of my old favorite games because of Twin Galaxies and had great joy about it. So for my hosts... Wait, oh, wait, go can, ahead. We, can we make one promise to our viewers? One okay. promise to everybody out there? All right. Promises show, are not no, guaranteed. No, 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 on our next show, you know, show number four of Settle It on the Screen, we're going to kind of try to actually get back into presenting stuff about video games. Oh, yeah, stuff, yeah, you know, yeah. Maybe, yeah. None of this. I, I don't want you guys to just get sick of us talking all the time. We might actually you know? play yeah. something, we're, maybe. We're, oh, yeah, we've we've had like enough of our opinion. Now game. it's 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 time at this point we're yeah. gonna jump into what the real settle it on the screen is gonna be. Video games, For, guys. Video games. I do have video one games. question though. Yes. If this is the one game. Is that like if you put it towards a uh, Turbo Graphics, it just like forms. Yeah, yeah. To be yeah. that'll fit into any system. Okay. Yes. That's, yes. That's, God, yeah. that's Except for the Wii. Weird. Oh, it won't fit in the Wii. That's weird. Yeah. For my host, Mike Cheney. Our buddy Pete, <laughs> Josh Houselander, hey, Nick Houselander, myself, Mike Sorogo. We'll see you next see you. time. Subscribe. Do everything. Like, Click. Comments. Subscribe. Comment. Write us. Do his finger. Do what you need MySpace, to do. MySpace, Craigslist, whatever. Twitter. <laughs> pin interest. Is that, is that pin how you Pin interest. Say? Facebook. Yes. Right. MySpace. Yeah. Comment on your live journal page. Oh, g- uh, gamerlife360.com. <laughs> you know, all of them. Soundwave, if you're watching, have laser beak. Send us a message. Yep. <laughs> wow. Find us on SoundCloud. In, uh, yeah. Snapchat. Snapchat. Instagram. Definitely Snapchat. That Buzzsaw, is. eject. Yep. <laughs> Vine. Send message. We should, we yeah, should put all these the videos on Vine in yep. seven minutes. Seven Twitch. Seven seven seven. We should put all of our videos on Vine. We should. <laughs> Chop them up. Chop them up into seven seconds. Or how about we should do? Watch every Twin Galaxies podcast video or show in seven seconds. Yeah. It's rolling record seven. Yeah.
and records. Are we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna submit this show for the most mentions come, and records. Come, that are come, in come our back next. Yeah, come back for go. the next episode. We will have set the record for submitting the most record setters. Good night, everybody. Bye.